conference. Y'all ain't no men's out ya. With all y'all wins of doctrine. Us y'all again, stop it. Multiple enemies rising. But we stay cool like dry fits. Against the truth, you will lose. Nothing you can do about it. This is an organization. Don't argue, stop wasting our dedicated time. Brothers want us to speak Hebrew, so say that in Hebrew. <laughs> Let me stop. Hey, purple on boots shining and we deep. Lazy kid. Because he knew we was going to forget. So the Bible says, remember the Sabbath, Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. How do we keep the Sabbath day holy? Not buying, selling, not not uh, not cooking. These are things that we're supposed to do on the Sabbath day to keep it holy. We're supposed to congregate with one another. These are things that we're supposed to do. You didn't know that, you know now. So now that you know better, you got to do better. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So we ain't supposed to work. Hey, brother, I thought you want to know about Christ. All right, read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So you understand what, 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 what I'm saying, right? The seventh day, the, the Lord, he rested on that day. And he said that he, that day was supposed to be holy, right? Let, let's jump to Nehemiah. Bring it up! We're working on that day. So you got one thing. Read. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it up! And if the people of the land bring work or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So that's like these stores around here. They got stuff in here that you can buy. You know, some, some places you can go and you can trade. You can buy and sell things, right? That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So it said we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath because back in these days we knew that we had to keep the law. We we knew it. We knew who we were. It was no question about uh uh what what our nationality was because we knew that we were Israel. Right. Read. Or on the holy day, uh -huh. and that we will leave the seventh year. That was it. So on that day, we're not supposed to buy and sell. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Bring you're it not up. Supposed to, you're not supposed to cook today. Today, you're supposed to prepare prepare for this day. You got to prepare Friday so you can have leftovers for this day. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 23. Hey, brother, walk across the street. Hey, come holler at me, bro. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So read that again. My bad. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So Moses was telling the children of Israel, Tomorrow is the rest of the Sabbath. Read. Bake that which she will bake today. So he's telling us what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to bake that which we're supposed to, that, that whatever you're going to bake, read. And sieve that which he was, and seed that with that which he was see. That means to boil. Seed means to boil. So you're gonna bake and boil whatever you're gonna boil before the Sabbath. Read. Hey, how y'all doing, fam? Yeah, where y'all see y'all set out on this sun? Over here. Where y'all see y'all set on this sun? We all will be Judah. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. See, it said whatever lay over, that be kept till the morning. That means you're left over. You eat leftovers. So you understand that you're Israel, right? You know that there's something. What, what tribe are you from? Judah. Judah. So you know there's something required of you. You know what I want. There's something that's required of you, right? So I gave you, I give you some laws, and I, you know, and 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 I broke it. We broke it down to you to show you that you're Israel. Now there's something required of you. Family, we break this brother. He's been here for a while, and he's heard, you know, how how we are the Israelites of the Bible. So let me give him a, a quick scripture, real quick, and then I'll give it to him. Read that. There's something required. God requires something of you now. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter ten, verse twelve. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God? How do you fear God? 
In your, in your own words, how do you fear God? After all this you done heard, how do you fear God? Give me, give me Psalms 119 and 116. All that, give me Psalms 119. Yeah, we got to keep the commandments, but we got to fear his judgments. Because you don't know what he's going to do to you. Right. You can walk away from this thing right here and you can just drop dead. You don't know. We got to fear God's judgment. That's what. That's one of the things that the Bible says is required of us. Read. Yeah. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 120. My flesh trembleth for the fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgment. So you have to be afraid of God's judgment. This is how you fear him. You got to keep the commandments because you fear him. Right. If you don't keep them, Bad things gonna happen. Things like this right here gonna happen. When you don't fear God, this is what happened. This is what happened to you. Go back. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Get out. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Did y'all know that the Lord requires something of us? Y'all know that we have to fear God because when we don't fear God, this right here happens. The Lord did this to he, he did this to us. Right. He allowed the, the other people to us to be in, to, in to, to the other people. Right. This ain't happening to everybody. This only happening to our people. Right. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways. So walk in his ways. That's that's the keeping the commandments that you've been talking about. But you still got the cigarette in your hand. So how you gonna walk in his ways when you still you still have you holding on to the sin? You right. gotta let it go, my brother. Read. And to love him. How do you love God? Give me that. Love God. How do you love God? Can you give God a hug? No, you can't give him a hug. Read. The book of First John, chapter five, verse three. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So to show God that you love him, that you got to keep the commandments. When the commandment come out, you know that you're in that, in that wrong doing, stop doing it. You got to stop doing it. You got you to gotta love him. You, gotta, you can't just say you love him. Because that's, that's, what, that's what our people do nowadays. We say we love God, but our actions, our actions show, show otherwise. That's right. right. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. Right. His commandments are not hard. They're not hard. We just have to, do, we have to want to do that thing. You understand that? Go back, finish it up. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. So we gotta trust in the Lord with all our heart and our in our, in our soul. We can't trust in our own mind because our mind is gonna lead us astray. Our mind is gonna get us shot in the street. Our mind is gonna get. We're gonna keep continue to be with in submission to to the other nations. Right. You understand that, brothers and sisters? So y'all ever heard the tribe of Israel? Yeah, we Israelite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The tribe of Judah. Okay. So today, you know, today the seventh day. That's right. What you know, we gotta wear fringes. Y'all married? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Do y'all know we got a school here? No. We always watch the ones in Dallas, Dallas Texas. One. Okay. One body. Okay. Yeah, we got a school here. What's the, what's the address of the school? 54, 5400. Mitchell Dale. Right here on the back. Of yeah, we got we congregate today. Ten, ten minutes down the road. Yeah, ten minutes down the road. Yeah. So give me that congregation. Give me that Hebrews 10. 10 is uh, 20, 26, I, I believe it is. So that's another commandment. You smoke, my brother? Yeah, I was just going over the scripture with the brother. I was listening at that, bro. I know we're going through a lot, but we got to keep the commandments of God. That's right. This is what's going to change everything. Because with the mind of the black man today, we, we ain't ready to rule yet. Right. Because our mind ain't right. You Bring know? it up. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. Get out. Not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. So we can't forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Because when we come around each other, if that if you have an issue, we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna say, hey bro, bro, I, I noticed that you had some, some, some cigarettes, but you smell like cigarettes, man. You can't be doing it. The Bible says that you know we can't defile the temple. We're gonna get each other right. Read. 
as the matter of some is, uh -huh. but exhorting one another. We're going to exhort you. We're going to exhort one another. We're going to build each other up according to the scripture. Building you up is telling you, brother, you can't smoke. That's love. That's real love. Rather than walking walking by and, and don't say nothing. And your soul is, your, your soul is, you know, you just damn your soul. Read. And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Uh -huh. For if we sin willfully after. That was it. So you said you know you Israel. There's something required of us. We got to keep the commandments of God. We got to congregate. You know the day the Sabbath day? Yes. If you know all these things, why are you not doing it? This, I guess I look at it on TV, but I never knew it was here. Well, not TV, but okay. YouTube. But I, I seen y'all once before, me and my son, but that was somewhere else. And then now we see y'all here, but we never knew they had it, you know, stationed here in Houston. Because the black man has to get his family together. It starts with us first. We got to get our mind right, then we can get our, our wives' mind right. But if our mind ain't right, we can't get their mind right. Because we got to lead the family. They don't They don't lead the family. We do. Let's get the order. Because the most I got, he's all about order. And that's something, that's another thing about our people. We don't like order. You know? But hey, the, God is all about order. Read that. 11. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter one, 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So this is a commandment from God. This is a command from God. He's telling you, he's telling you the order. He's telling you his order. Read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. So he said, I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So Christ is your head. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Sis, your husband is your head. This is what the Bible says. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So while the scriptures is coming out, and that Christ is your head, we're not supposed to have our head covered. What are you supposed to do? All praises, all praises. Hey, that's repentance right there. That's repentance right there. Give me that in Luke 15. Because we just read the order. See that? See how easy that was? The brother took his head off. He gave him, he gave him reverence to the Father. Oh no, I know that. What you told him before, keeping God's commandments, that's how you keep in love. Like you say, you can't hug God, keeping his commandment is the root. You right on that's that. Right. You that's right. 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 We just can't say it with our mouth. We can't say it with our mouth. We got to actually do something. That's right. You're our right. actions got to show that we love God. Right. You got it? The book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 10. Uh -huh. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. So that's joy in the heaven right now. I, I read out a commandment, you heard it, you change it immediately. That's that's a sign of repentance. You should come to the school and, and congregate today, bro. Bring your family, learn who you are, learn your nationality. I'm tired of being in this place. Right. right. I'm tired of having having my back beat. That's right. Going to two or three work. Bring it out. Right. Still don't have enough money to make ends meet. That's right. Still ain't got food in the, in, in my cupboard. I'm tired of it, man. We got we gotta make we gotta make change. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.